All right, so we're going to open up Spotify. Now, this is what you're going to see when you first open the app. I'm, do, I'm using the iPad, but if you're on your iPhone or on your laptop, it'll be similar. So we have a couple of options on how to get to our DJ, our AI DJ is what they call it. So first of all, up here at the top, it says, good afternoon. It's going to show you your recent playlist that you played. And then it's going to have the option for the DJ down here. So this is the symbol. It's like this weird blue with a circle in it that talks to you. Uh, you could get to it also if you played it in your recently played right here. You click on it like you would click on a playlist or a folder. So all you have to do is click on one of them. I know what you listen to. I see Sand the Rivener there. So I'm going to be here every day playing those artists you got in rotation, going back into your history for songs you used to love. And I'm always on the lookout for new stuff too, just to push your boundaries a little bit. I'm going to come back every few songs to change up the vibe. But if you're ever not feeling the music, there's going to be a DJ button at the bottom of your screen. Tap that and I'll come back early to switch it up. All right, enough talk. I mentioned Sand the Rivener. Let's get it going with that and some other artists in that zone. So it's recommending. So it what it does basically is it is goes through your history of songs that you listen to, playlists that you listen to, and the type of music that you listen to, and then it gives you similar playlists and similar songs to the ones that you usually listen to. Now it is really um it is really misleading because it says the feature says AI DJ now. What a DJ does is they seamlessly mix songs together. That is not what is going on here. It's not doing an auto mix. It's not doing a DJ. It's not doing transitions. It's not doing beat matching. It's not doing any of that. What it's doing is having some annoying AI voice come over your speakers and try to act like a cool, like a cool MC because you're not actually DJing. They're just saying something. So they'll say say some, you know, kind of say some nonsense or something that they think that, that the app thing sounds cool, and then it just plays your song. And then after every certain amount of songs, it's going to come back and say something else. Uh, and if you want to change the song, let's say you don't like the playlist or the music that they gave us, you're going to press the the symbol down here. All right, let me... All right, let me change it up. Here's some songs you've been keeping on repeat, a little snapshot of your music at this moment in time. Liquid up first. There you go. It says something interesting or maybe not that interesting, and then it'll play the song. Again, it's not DJing, it's MCing. And if you are looking for an auto mix or something that could DJ for you, I would recommend using the app DJ Pro AI. If you have the premium version, they have a great auto mix. And now with this auto mix, you just pick a playlist and then you could select different transitions so it's actually going to use artificial intelligence to do transitions and it's going to pick when to to mix the song when to mix out and it actually does transitions it actually matches the bpm and it actually djs for you what what you get with spotify is not a dj it is just mc so i just wanted to make this video to clear that up with you guys let me know if you have any questions about about spotify or about djing on the ipad and if you guys want to actually learn how to dj learn how to use auto mix in dj pro ai subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos thank you